It's our first time meeting here over at Cape May. We got our reservations. And we're gonna go sit down and have a wonderful meal. And we're starting our day. First part, we're gonna be going to Hollywood Studios. And from there, we're gonna be taking a transfer bus to go to Cape May to have our breakfast with Minnie and her friends. Morning. Morning, guys. Morning. So we'll see you when we get over there. Don't you love that? Damn, well, things happen, you know. So here we go, get a good breakfast. Get some good meal on. Our transfer bus we gotta take. It's okay, it'll work out. No, the mile and a half walk would be fun. But not today, not with this weather. You do too much work. You need to take your breaks in between what you do. I'm just saying what I like. I know I have bad knees, but it's what I like. Yeah, but it's also exhausting. You need a break when you can. I understand. Yeah, it's like a go, go, go. When I want to start going to Disney, I like to go. You know how it is. Take about 10 minutes I rest walk every now and then. I walk faster than you. I think you walk fast. You are striking. I worked in a hospital. Alright, well, we're at Hollywood Studios here, so we kind of count that as number one. I think the Thank you. Yeah, I think it's about a one and a half miles, I think I heard, if you walk. And you're walking. But it's crazy, they don't have a... Uh... Yeah, he's like, it's so close. He's like, we don't have to yeah, take the boat. Yeah, you probably go out and go take a left, like she's saying, because you can't go much further past this point. It's going to be a little choppy and a little cold water. <laughs> because of everything. Oh, cool. Good timing. And you got the best luck. Not really. At this trip, yes, you have. Yeah. I mean, come on. All the good stuff's been happening to you. Some of the iffy stuff's been happening to me. <laughs> so, we're going to the Friendship Boats to go to the Beach Club. We eat Cape May. See, the friendship boat has transportation to the Swan and Dolphin, where you go first, Yacht and Beach Club next, and the boardwalk. And after that, the Epcot International Gateway. And every 20 minutes does this until one hour after park closes. So you can get home to your home resort. If you want to go this way. So there we go, we're waiting on our boat. And if you can see in the back back there, I think that just might be our boat. Where? There in the water. Oh, cool. You really can't see because this water's disgusting. Yeah, it's dark, dark water. Well, what's worse, this water or in the water in New Orleans? It doesn't look deep though. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're swimming too well. It's like sitting there. Well, you can see the grass too growing. Yeah. Here comes our boat, which we will be taking to get to our meal. I'm glad we put you all these obstacles. It kills time. 
Yeah. They also give us new modes of transportation to try that we haven't. Well, thank God we switched our reservation because we would have been very, very late. $20 charge on top of that, too. Yeah. Which ain't too bad. I mean, it used to be, if I remember correctly, 50 straight up, but now it's 10 per person in the party, which makes it 20 for us instead of 50. But if you have more than five in your party, then the 50 would work better for you. Swan and Dolphin, but it was pretty cool what we got. Walking up to the Yacht Club, then we're going to take a right, go to the blue buildings, to the big tower back there, pass, and behind the pirate ship, go eat some yummy breakfast, and go meet Minnie and all her friends at her beach uh, blast. Cause yes, they have Chef Mickey's, and this one is based on Minnie and her friends. Triple Goofy and Mickey and Minnie. Yeah. First, I always thought this was based another Mickey-based one, but it's I found out it emphasizes Minnie, not Mickey. Right. That's cool. No. I don't know about you, but every time I see somebody running down the pass, uh -huh. I want to go right behind them with a boombox blaring a Rocky theme song. Yeah. Which I actually saw a YouTube video of somebody doing that. Really? They met up with somebody on the side of the road. Uh -huh. They stopped their car, talked to them. Found they were jogging. Let the person go forward. And they put the Rocky music on in their car. And they started slowly following the guy. That's four art of animation. This is considered one of the largest pools in the whole entire Disney world. But it goes from yacht all the way through beach. If you stay at either one, you can use it. Not just your half, but the whole thing. There's the pirate ship again. But you, but I just want to get inside. I'm getting cold. Hopefully, it warms up for us. You got slide right there. Starts up nice and high. All the way into the water. Looks like fun. So, 
basically right behind here we gotta get close to beaches and cream. Around where we're going. <coughs> right, right behind here. Towers back here. Yeah. This is where we gotta go. So not this walkway, next one. Let's still get to the pool area. Dang, you actually have to have your magic band to get you. Only the uh, people staying here can use it. And it's got magic band access to get in to make sure it works. See how it goes down? Right there. And it swings around and goes right into the pool. It's like we had our own little blue bayou right there. I guess we go in there and we take a left. The beach and the cream is to the left of us. Warm up a little bit. Oh, I know. So you're gonna go with a soda or a cold drink? <laughs> orange juice. Well, orange juice, I want the hot chocolate, you know. <laughs> I guess we're going to go around the edge. To get there. I know. Well, here's the inside of the beach club. Cape May Cafe, we found it. Good job. Good job, Sarah, you found it. Yeah, we have to check in and let them know we're here. This might be the, oh, okay. Let's say, is this the line to check in? Yeah, that's definitely a shirt for your dad. You know, sir, a genius by choice, grumpy by uh, birth. I'm sorry, genius by birth, grumpy by choice shirt. That's your dad's shirt. Uh, thank you. It's so our first time meeting here over at Cape May. We got our reservations. And we're gonna go sit down and have a wonderful meal. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And it pay looks good. I know. I mean, look at it over there. And we just saw Goofy as he passed by. Yeah. The light vest. And looking back, there's Donald. Let me zoom in for y'all. Focus it up. Donald's right there. Sailor Donald. Go see. Donald's got his sailor attire on, looks like. I cannot wait. I already know what I can and I can't have based on the other breakfasts we had. So I shouldn't have to ask, because the chef, I should be able to just go. Because if it's anything like... I would ask, but just to be on the safe side, because this might be new food. Yeah, but if it's any similarities to... Yeah. Be on the safe side because Lord, I just can't have you getting sick. Hey, I've made it this far without getting sick. Yeah, but if you wouldn't have asked last night, you would have been sick. You got that right. So, I would just ask. I know. Yeah, I may have to ask. Sarah's right. But I'm just thinking it might be like the what that Crystal half Palace. The, half the barbecue stuff that you eat, you said don't have some. They had in every place, so I know. I yeah, cause they didn't have the, uh, the other places. Thank you. Yes, please. Coffee? Uh, no, thank you. I bring syrup for the Mickey Waffles there on the buffet. All sides are different. Grab your plates up front. Goofy, Minnie, Donna, all gonna come here and say hi. Okay. Needs cinnamon. Is it? Okay. I'll get this check. Okay. okay. Thank you for asking. No problem. All right. We'll find out soon what I can have and what I can't have. But as always, Sarah can have whatever she wants. <laughs> I don't have a food allergy. 
I know. It stinks going with Disney with the food allergy. What's she gonna do? I know if there's that breakfast lasagna that they had over at Crystal Palace, I can't have that. I've learned that from over there. The French toast, obviously, I can't have. That's all there was at the other place. And I could have asked for cinnamon on my omelets, which people have done. Can't do that either. It may not be a southern thing. Maybe another country or other side of the United States thing. A French toast omelets, maybe? <laughs> cinnamon sugar omelets? But we'll be eating a little bit once we talk to the chef. Well, we got our breakfast. We're sitting down. I got some bacon and sausage and biscuits with gravy. Same as Kate May. I'm sorry, just Kate May. Same as Crystal Palace. I've also got some grits. But I got a special egg that they had with like goat cheese and this scramble they did with some hollandaise sauce. Different than Crystal Palace. And a little mini crepe here. I chose one of their parent offerings of blackberry jam and powdered sugar. See how it is. And there's Sarah's meal. Southern as you can get. Crystal Palace better. Like Crystal Palace better? Why is that? They more southern flavor. There's no flavor. It's too northern for you? Sorry, you're from the Hey, when you're with a southern girl, likes the southern stuff, do what you can to please her. But at least the character interactions here are, are different than Crystal Palace, and that's pretty cool. Right. Hey, we try new places, and we know for next time when we come what to do and what not to do. Right. We'll see how I like it and go from there, okay? Sorry. We just had pictures with all three characters here. Minnie Mouse, which was the best out of all three in my opinion. Very interactive with our rings. You saw the new rings that I got. Donald was pretty cool and so was Goofy. So if you like those three characters, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy, I'll meet over at Cape May. We'll have a great uh, enjoyment with them. See, there's Donald helping that family out. That's an experience. Food's definitely not Southern like we're used to at all. But overall, it's not half bad. A lot better than the food we had last night at, for the barbecue. That steak was great last night that the chef gave me. It's a great breakfast, too. So after we're done here, we're gonna walk Epcot for a little bit, maybe ride Test Track, and see if we can hit all parks and Disney Springs later today. So, wish us the best of luck, and see if we can do it. We also have to do our airline checkout today, so we get our boarding tickets, because bad news, today is our last day at Disney. Tomorrow, we can't even get to the parks. We have to leave at 9 in the morning for our flight back home. Where we will continue looking for a new house and let Disney and Sean and all our family know all about our special time in Disney World. So, you see you had the French toast, a little bit of it left right there. So, I want to give you a southern opinion on the northern French toast. Not at the moment. <laughs> I understand that one. I'll say the vegetable medley no, uh, scramble and the chorizo scramble no, is good. But how was the northern French toast compared to what New Orleans does? Uh, it just tastes like mushy bread. Any powdered sugar? They need to lose the hell out of powdered sugar when I make it. And was there cinnamon sugar or just straight cinnamon? I have no idea, but it is not French toast. I don't know who messed it up. The Mickey Hall Club by far was the best. 
Those were good. But I like the, like I said right here, the medleys of vegetable and the chorizo sausage eggs. But once again, I apologize. <laughs> if any northern people are watching this, I love the northern stuff, but we just have certain spices that we have in our food. Right, that's okay. Oh, you that, may not want to put this in the bowl. That is 100% New Orleans style. So maybe next time we come, we'll bring our New Orleans spices with us to spice it up our way. I shouldn't have to. Now this right here, this frittata, I know my frittata well enough. New Orleans frittata is whatever leftovers you have. It doesn't just, help Just too. thrown together. Not a name mushroom frittata, just a frittata. It doesn't, leftovers. It doesn't Throw help eggs. Too, that I thought I was growing butter and I grabbed a little bit of cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest. Butter, cream cheese, they're both little round balls over here and they very, very similar. If you're not careful, you will grab the wrong one. Be careful. You get the one you truly want. Even the signs were mixed up. Our signs said butter. You grab butter. It said butter. It might have been cream cheese. So I'm gonna finish this. Alright. And I gotta tell you, here's a little muffin with the uh, ganache on top. And that's it's a pink Mickey, so let's call it a mini, about the bow. They gave us that and blue bubbles to us to celebrate our just engagement. That was pretty cool. I liked it a lot. Well, we're finally finished eating at Cape May. It was decent if you uh, like that style of food. As far as breakfast, I have to say, if I had to pick there, a Crystal Palace, I would pick Crystal Palace. You get more characters at that one. Right, you get four characters of Eeyore, Piglet, Pooh, and Tigger, and a fifth one we hear during Easter, which we haven't seen yet, of Rabbit. Over at Cape May, you get you Minnie, get three characters. Goofy, and Donald. And we heard rumors that sometimes Mickey may show up as well on special days of the year. But we don't know if that's true, because we haven't seen it yet. So, but like I said, I just, personally, I think you get your money's worth at Crystal Palace. Right. Because for us, Crystal Palace over Cape May had a little more bit of Southern charm that we liked. Well, it's not only that. I just think that they have more, they have more food options. True. Like that Western Omelette pizza was great like over at like uh, Crystal. On the healthier side. And yeah, we walk enough of it off. But hey, the Easter and exactly. it might be. But I, I would like to try it for dinner one time. Or, yes. Because it has more of, of seafood and stuff. And I would like to try that. We heard from our travel agent that for, while breakfast is good for some, dinner is a whole nother experience. Right. And it's definitely worth trying. You know, she told us, if you don't like dinner, don't knock breakfast, try it. You might like it instead. So, if you don't like breakfast, try lunch or dinner. You might I like them. I don't think I would go for breakfast again, but I would definitely like to try dinner. Yes. Or so. Exactly. Yeah. I know that breakfast, but they told us this is Which I think might have been a better option for us. But we wanted to do another breakfast, because. I mean, how can you go wrong with breakfast? We checked the fast pass. There are no fast passes left for test track. It's a 75 minute wait as of now. But that's our last day. We want to do it. So we're going to do it. We got my stride catch up with Sarah. 
and wait in our lines to test press.